big thing about the Quinnipiac community is the tightness of it, how close-knit every single person is. I have met so many different people and so many inspiring people um, that have encouraged me to keep going or encouraged me to challenge myself. Quinnipiac has definitely prepared me from an academic standpoint because it's given me every tool possible to achieve. Quinnipiac has 100% prepared me, whether it be in my clinical settings or in the classroom. What makes it so special is the family atmosphere. You become one big family here. It's like being in a big family. We're absolutely like family. The first day here, everybody knew my name, professors included, and I think that was really special. This morning, the board of directors voted unanimously for the next president of Quinnipiac University, and they elected Dr. Judy Olian. I'd like to introduce Dr. Judy Olian, the next president of Quinnipiac. I was most impressed when I first met Dr. Olian about her ability to articulate a clear vision of what the Quinnipiac student of the future had to be. The thing that impressed me most about President Olian was a great sense of strategic vision and planning. If I were to ask President Olian one question, it would be, why choose Quinnipiac? I was especially impressed with this rocket ship trajectory of Quinnipiac University. It has escalated in its prominence, in its reach, in its scope. Obviously, much of this is the leadership and bold vision of President John Leahy. I was just so impressed by how nimble and connected the students, the faculty, the career opportunities are to the marketplace of the 21st century. I grew up in a family that was very committed to education. I bounced around from Australia to Israel. I spent some time in Europe before coming to the United States. I had some adversity and I think that made me stronger. And I feel very privileged to have been chosen to come to Quinnipiac because it's almost a culmination of all of the pieces of what I've been involved in before. I would ask President Olean her future plans for Quinnipiac and where she sees our institution in the next five years. A community that's inclusive and diverse is a healthier community. I don't think there's any substitute for being an enlightened citizen than being immersed in the traditions of the arts and sciences. But then we have to be developing, whether it's disciplinary training or interdisciplinary training, like occupational therapy, physical therapy, mechanical engineering. Those are fields that have tremendous demand and we have to keep getting better and better at them as we are and become the best in the nation. How we recruit and attract geographically diverse, nationally diverse, socially diverse, economically diverse, by building our prominence through signature programs that draw people to want to come to Quinnipiac because of the uniqueness of some of the programs. Faculty developing and nurturing students and being known as one of the most dedicated and most innovative faculties in the country. I'm excited to see the Bobcats win. I'm excited to get to know our students. I want to get to know our faculty. I can't see anything but a brilliant future and that's pretty exciting.